All right, tonight, the final game of Super Wild Card Weekend, the Buccaneers hosting the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, there's already been some talk that Todd Bowles' job could be in jeopardy if he doesn't win tonight, which is ridiculous when you think of it. They've won the division two years in a row, but JoeBucksFan.com and Ira Kaufman, who's covered the Bucs forever, I get the impression from listening to them that there may be some smoke there, and we know that the Glazers love a big name. Yeah. There's big names out there, and... I wouldn't be surprised. Like a Pete, I could see a Pete Carroll. Mm-hmm. I could see them getting smitten with a Pete Carroll. And, you know, Pete is feeling a little bruised right now in the ego department. This is perfect. I go to Tampa and they roll out the red carpet for him. They want to fill the stadium. I don't know that Pete Carroll fills the stadium, but maybe that's the kind of energy. They always look for the opposite. Todd Bowles comes off as very even keeled. Pete Carroll, high energy. Maybe that's I just they're going to be infatuated with getting a big name if they lose tonight. Yeah, I, I, I hear you. It, it, it is interesting. I don't know if I totally agree with that. Right. I mean, you, you said it. They've won the South twice in a row. I know it's not been overly impressive. Right. But one last year. I mean, yeah, they weren't that great. He took over. Uh, they had some injuries. The offensive line was an issue, and they had a 45-year-old quarterback. It all kind of just you know snowballed, and they they you know got to the playoffs, but it wasn't impressive. This year, it is impressive. I mean, this year it's what over 80 million dollars in dead money. It's a quarterback that everybody said isn't that good. Uh, you know, it, it's a lot of guys that kind of came out of nowhere to just go, hey, you know, I'm a player. Look at how Todd Bowles has developed me. Uh, so that's where I'm a little surprised by it. I am because I want to go, man, give Todd a chance to spend some money and see what he can do if they build the team the right way around him. Uh, but it, it does sound like there's a there's a little chance that if it doesn't work out tonight, he's in trouble. And if they do win tonight, don't rule out a repeat of the Lovey Smith, Dirk Cutter inside job. Sorry, Dirk. But uh, Dave Canales, Dave they could decide we don't want Canales slipping off of the pirate ship. We'll just make him the head coach, which some still think they did eight years ago. When it was loving. Well, Dirk. this game too changes, right? I mean, I, I we both picked the Eagles, correct? Yeah. Right. No AJ no, Brown is a is is changes um, that aspect yeah. certainly. But no San Francisco if they win. Well, they don't have to go to San Francisco. There, there is light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. You're right about that. It's it was, the Lions. That's this, the problem. This should be interesting. The Buccaneers did not necessarily end the season on a strong no. note. They limped in. Yeah. I mean, they got dominated by the Saints. They didn't play well against the Panthers. And as we know, the Eagles were about as bottom of the barrel as any team in football in December. Here's what we'll do because we don't have a whole lot of time left. I want to dive into Nick Sirianni's future because there's a lot of smoke there's a lot of confusion there's reasons to say this is crazy but then there's reasons to say maybe it's not so Nick Sirianni has taken the Eagles to the playoffs three straight years yeah but since starting the season 10 and 1 it has been a debacle yeah they have lost their way horrible demeanor body language hostage video press conferences Jalen Hurts isn't what he was last year. A.J. Brown frustrated. Hey, there's Big Dom. Big Dom will be back tonight. His his banishment from the sideline ended with the regular season. The Big Dom bump. Some would say, and the Eagles would say, three straight playoffs, there's no way. But I think what they're trying to do is the opposite of Jerry Jones. They don't want to freak him out. I think that that's why they would say it's crazy to even have the conversation because they don't want to raise questions in the locker room. They don't want doubt to creep in. They want to weather this storm. But if they lose tonight, they are the better team. Yeah. If they lose tonight yeah. and Belichick is out there. Right. Vrabel's and the out Cowboys there. may go after Belichick. Right. right. And this is your chance. Again, this gets simple when you think about it. Greatest coach in the history of the NFL other than Don Shula, arguably, is available to anyone who wants him. Yeah. How is that not a factor when your team is kind of teetering? I, I hear you. And we're seeing where, I, I mean, we, we've talked about a few teams already. The Buccaneers, the Cowboys. When ownership and the GM have an expectation of where that team should be or where they should exceed to, they don't give a damn what you've done. If they go, wait, that was really good, but we thought you should have been here. And the current life in the NFL is your ass can get fired after that. And that's incredible. It is. But, yes, it's falling apart there in Philadelphia. I understand the questions. Now, some of it's not his doing either. The defensive coordinator things are not his doing. But, you know, again, he's an offensive coach. Shane Steichen's not there, and then there's the offensive issues on top of that, let alone the management of the team, I think, has not been top-notch. Yeah. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.